I want to draw your attention to this interview here with Tyson Fury's trainer, Ben Davison. Davison talks about his situation with Billy Joe Saunders. There's no kind of issue or rift between him and Saunders. Saunders has decided to go and train with Brendan Ingle again simply for logistical reasons because Ben Davison's obviously over in the US with Tyson Fury and Billy Joe doesn't want to have to leave his family and you know go all the way to the US to have a training camp and then go back you know or well actually he'd be fighting in the US right Billy no, no yeah if he's fighting on the Logan Paul undercard he would be in the US but either way he says that Billy Joe don't want to be separated from his family and all that kind of stuff uh, for too, too long. So it's just a, log a logistical thing. But most importantly, what Ben Davison says here in this interview is that if a fighter wants to leave him and go train with somebody else, he doesn't take it personally. Yeah, he says what I've been saying in videos for a long time, that a fighter only has one career, whereas he is a trainer manages you know lots of different careers and of course his career can last many many decades as a trainer whereas a fighter's career is relatively short so he fully understands that if a fighter feels like in fact he said he wouldn't want to be in a situation where a fighter is secretly thinking man i wish i was with a different trainer rather than ben because i might have been able to go further you know and, and biting their tongue about it he'd rather the fighter just tell him look i'd think I'd be better off training with somebody else. Ben Davison says he'd be 100% cool with that. So that shows a tremendous amount of maturity uh, from Ben Davison. You know, he's, he's willing to put his ego aside and he's happy for fighters to go elsewhere and still remain friends with them. No problem at all. More trainers need to have that kind of attitude. Now, obviously, it's not just about ego and whatnot. It's about money. Because when... A fighter, especially if it's a high-profile fighter that earns a lot of money, when he leaves a trainer, that trainer is going to have pretty much an instant drop in their revenue, <laughs> in the amount of money they're earning. We saw it recently with uh, Abel Sanchez when he decided to part ways with Gennady Golovkin. It was, you know, his decision. Well, no, it was kind of mutual consent, actually. Golovkin offered him a flat fee rather than a percentage Abel Sanchez wasn't happy with it, so he walked away from that situation. But, you know, that's going to be a lot of money that he's not getting anymore. You know, so I know with some trainers, it's the money as much as anything else. Uh, but still, ego has something to do with it. And it's good that Ben Davison puts it out in the open for fighters and says, look, if you think someone else is going to be better for you, then go be with someone else. It's no problem. We're still going to be friends. We'll still be cool. That way it removes the awkwardness, the, uh, you know, the, the, the situation where a fighter might feel guilty for leaving his trainer, especially if it's a trainer he's been with for many years. You know, you, you, you can feel guilty. You can feel like, oh man, I should stick with him. I should be loyal, but I think somebody else could, you know, do a better job. Ben Davison's removing that. Yeah. And just keeping it all out in the open, which I think is good. So, have a watch of this interview. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I've seen some people say, oh yeah, Hatman, all you care about is money because you, you're always saying that fighters shouldn't be loyal. You know, loyalty is such a rare thing in society nowadays. People, I'm not talking about being loyal to your friends and family. People who love you and who are with you, you know, unconditionally just about. No, we're talking about being loyal to boxing trainers, managers, promoters, etc. These are people who are only in your life because you're making them money. It's very different. Yeah? If you're a boxer, why should you be loyal to a promoter? It doesn't make any sense. He's not your friend. <laughs> yeah, he's somebody who's making money out of you. And vice versa, of course. But it's, it's very different than just loyalty in general in your social life, yeah? And if that person really is your friend, truly, then they should be, you know, happy for you to go elsewhere because they, they'll want the best for you, which is what Billy, which is what, excuse me,
Ben Davison says in this interview, he says, I want the best for the fighters I'm working with. And if that means going to be with a different trainer, then I'm happy for him to do that if that's what's best for him. So Ben Davison gets it. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least with regards to this. You got to go wherever you got to go to make the best out of your career. So yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's happening, I'm out.